Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to a special Halloween edition of Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> yes, as we're getting into Halloween, I thought I'd do uh, uh, something a little, it's not really Halloween themed, I just thought I'd go with the season, you know. Um, but this is a broom, uh, and it's broken, as you can see. So today we're going to try and fix it. So let's get on with it. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is one of, of two brooms that I've been given and asked to try and fix. Uh, these are um, sometimes referred to as witches' brooms, uh, but these actually came from the livery yard or stables where my uh, missus works, and they bought these brooms, and you can see like, they're, they're virtually brand new, they've barely been used, and they've just fallen apart. Um, there's another one here, let me see if I can show you this one as well. Oh. Oh, this is really awkward because they've got a big long handle on them. Um, oh, knocking stuff on the floor with the handle. Uh, but what they're supposed to do, hopefully you can see that, is there's this wire here. And that's supposed to be wrapped around here to hold it all together. And they, they've just fallen apart. So we'll put that one to one side for a second. Um, these are really awkward to work on because they're really long. Stop laughing at the back. Um... So you can see this one's the, the worst of the two. They've tried to fix it with cable ties, which was... I can see where they were coming from, but it was never going to work. But we are going to, we're going to do something a little bit similar, but better, hopefully. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is get all this stuff off. Um, let me get a pair of side cuts. Hang on. I'm, uh, I'm also trialling a new microphone as well, so it'll be interesting to see what the audio is like. But this is a, a wireless mic. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, let's cut these cable ties off. I hope I can do this without everything going twang, which is probably very likely. <laughs> uh, right, get out, you. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to cut that wire off as well, which is why I got side cutters and not clippers. <laughs> Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because the thing is, I could like rewrap these with wire because um, it's, uh, but it's it, this is quite a, a heavy gauge wire. I've got baling wire, but um, the trouble is with that is I don't have anything because these are wrapped. I'm assuming on a machine, and I don't have anything to like pull the cable, the wire tight. So, right, let's cut that. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, because you see what they do is they put the wire through the holes in the end and then they, you know, wrap it round and round and round and they probably use a machine to pull it tight. And as I say, I don't have the facility to do that. Um, so, let's just keep cutting until this comes off. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, right, let's try and get this wire off. Oh. Pull that bit out of there if we can. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, I think what they do is they put the wire through and then they kind of just wrap it round. Um, but I say, I imagine they probably use some kind of a machine to do it. Or they have, you know, tools to do it, which which I don't have. Uh, how does that, where does that go? That's buried down in there somewhere. I just have to snip that off. Right. So, let's see if we can get that back in there. So it doesn't actually go in all that far, is the problem. Stop laughing at the back again. I'm not going to tell you again. Right. Now. I'd like that to go in a bit further. I'm not going to tell you again. <laughs> I've got an idea. Stay there. Um, cable ties. Um... It's funny actually, these came from, I can't think where they come, work, they're work zone branded, I can't remember where they come from now. Um, 
But the interesting thing is, you see it says, it says TUV Rhineland. The TUV is the German, um, I think it's like the Department of Transport, something like that. But basically, in Germany, you're, it's illegal to modify your car unless you use TUV certified parts. So everything, even like cable ties, have to be certified. But anyway, that's beside the point. So what we've got here are some big chonky cable ties. And what I'm going to try and do, I just want to use these to start with just to hold this in place. I really wish that would go in a bit further. The thing is where it's got this nylon, is that nylon or wire? No, that's nylon, um, kind of stitched through it to hold it all together. And uh, so it means the handle is actually only going in like that much. I'd rather have it go in further, but it's fine. We shall do what we can as ever. Right, now, what I want to do is see if I can get this cable tie around it. This is just to hold it temporarily. Um, back down a little bit. Might have to use two of them to start with. See, this is the trouble, is it's just sliding off the end. Right, now, what I'm going to try and do is use this. I've got this kit. Um, and these are, they're not, well, they are kind of Jubilee clips, hose clamps. But this is a different setup. Uh, I bought this set a, a while ago, and I've, oh, God, I can't get the bag open. Um, there we go. Come on. There we go. So this is a, a set that I bought. It comes with a... I might have put a bag inside the bag. <laughs> it's like bagception here. There's, there's one bag. You take it out, there's another bag. It's like parcel parcel. Oh, God. At least they're Ziploc bags so I can reuse them. Oh, come on. Open. That's it. It actually comes with a little tool, which is handy. Uh, but we won't be using that, probably. And inside there is yet another bag. Uh, but what these are, these are basically like cable ties. Uh, sorry, cable ties. Um, hose, hose clamps or, or Jubilee clips. But what you've got is... I've also got another set of slightly smaller ones, which might be better, but we'll try this one first. So instead of it coming as a, an actual circular hose clamp, what you do is you get a, a roll of the material... Um, and you can use these ends and you basically make your own hose clamp. So you can make them any size you want. This is, I think, uh, 2.5 meters, so it's like eight feet long. So you, in theory, could make an eight foot long hose clamp. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, because I, I didn't think I'd have any big enough to actually fit around there. Now, we need to straighten this out, but we don't want to straighten it out too much because we do actually want to wrap it round. Now, let's see if we can do this. And the nice thing is this is actually well machined. There are no sharp edges on this because I was a bit worried about cutting my fingers to shreds. But this is actually um, quite nicely made, I have to say. This is a set came from Amazon, I think. I bought them ages ago, but I'll put a link in the, in the description to it. Uh, now, I've got to remember how these work. So, what you do is, now I've got to do this the right way. I'll do that that way round. Uh, I've got to think about this, hang on a second. <laughs> right, I think I've got this now. So, what you do is, let's just straighten up a bit for demonstration purposes you've got slots at each end and you see that one at the back has got like a little hook in it so you pop that through and then this is the fun bit because what you've got to do is get it back 
through this one, which is easier said than done, I have to say. Oh. Oh. So I don't want to bend it too much, because otherwise it will just make life more difficult further down the road. But that then goes back through. Oh. there like that and you see hopefully you can see that focus um, what that's done is the uh, the clip the hook on the back uh, on the back there has actually focus has actually engaged in that slot and that's what holds it together and so now what we've got to do is try and threadle this through here which I might do off camera because it's probably going to be a bit of a fuss but we put it through there wrap it around then feed the end back through and then tighten it up but let me get this in position and then I'll show you what I'm going to do right so after much wailing and gnashing of teeth I've realized I actually had the thing together backwards <laughs> It's weird because I'm, I'm sure normally with a hose clamp it goes in from the front and you tighten it. But this apparently goes in that way. But anyway, it's fine. Um, so we'll try this again, shall we? So let's get that on there. And pop that end in there. And now, hopefully... There we go. Alright, so let's clamp the handle back down. Right, let us try this again. So get that on as far as it will go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see what that's like. Take the clamp off. Oh, that's much better. That is much, much better. All right. One thing that's bothering me slightly, I don't know if you can see that, but this is, this is kind of twisted, which I'm not very, not very happy about. but I am putting a lot of force on this, so that might be why. I think that's about as tight as it's going to go without stripping it. Yeah, I like that. So let me do the other one and, and tidy up these ends a bit, and then uh, we'll have a look and see where we get to. Right, so here are our finished articles. Um, bit of an odd video, I know, but there you go. Uh, this one's actually a slightly different design. Uh, this one, uh, you can actually change the handle, the handle unscrews. So you may have seen those handles you can buy that have like a plastic thread on the end. That's what this has got in it. But it also has a T piece on the end. So this plastic piece is actually molded with a T on the end. So you can just see a bit of it sticking out there. Um, so that should actually hold better, hopefully. This one, it seems sturdy enough, but we'll just have to wait and see. So uh, there you go. Uh, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this slightly odd video. <laughs>
Um, we'll call we'll call this the Halloween special, shall we? There you go. Um, so uh, yes, normal, normal service will be resumed shortly. But uh, as I say, I I film what I what I'm working on, and this is the job I had to do. So uh, yes, uh, as ever, I'd like to thank my top tier patrons, uh, anonymous Tosh and Amy, for their continued support, and indeed all of my other patrons, channel members, and all of you lovely people at home. Um, everything helps. Every every little you know view and like and subscribe and everything all helps out. So thank you very much for that. And uh, yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this madness. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.